pieces. This one's called Room. Let's see. Feels like there should be more people in the room. Maybe it's the heat. Uh, maybe they're home in the shade and expect us to understand. Maybe mirrors reflect their feelings of being hot and doors slam open and shut over it. Like noisy swimmers floating and flailing like open and closing circular tanks and putting on trunks and playing cribbage, croquet, and other quaint games that so few sign up for. But then pastimes popular once don't always come round again, and the well runs dry, and you look for the crack in the wall that leads to another world, as if you could go there. Call it quits. Live life all at once with no repetition. No repeat Thursday to go with two for Tuesday, and where do we get off Wednesday? Why, thank God, it's Friday when friends go their separate ways. They don't say where. They seldom bother to call. Reaching out is one thing, but I think they reach back, basking in blankets and infectious blank stares, writing Hollywood histories that make us look foolish. If we had subtitles, it would be one thing. At least it would be fair. It might be fanciful and fancy, open and affirming, it might be zealous and optimistic, credulous and dirty. It might open us up to a world of opportunity. People wandering in and out, bringing food and clues and drums. We'd organize the lives of everyone around, then send them on their way to look for uncommon sense. When they finally find it and give a whiff, it'll seem too soon. This one's called Policy. Every day after that was a gift. No other way to say it. Where there were belligerent people in the past, now there were none. In their place were empty chairs. A void filled with silence. The silence made us sneeze. The order of the day finally came and called for long words. Why all the extra syllables? Why the current regime? It seems the bossy Gillises didn't go away after all. They just moved to the top of the food chain. Now they make policy. So go ahead and use your nuke. Every day's a gift anyway. Did your pencil break? Is your planet too wet, too dry, too hot, too cold? Don't worry, we're only here for a little while. Afterwards, you can talk about your accident. You can take us to task if we forget to remind you. You probably won't want to stick around too long anyway. Close the door and make things even quieter, removing a major source of income in the process. Anyway, it's good to be flexible, open to suggestion, especially left field impressions. We don't do anything terribly difficult, so it wouldn't be hard to catch up should you wish to return. Either way, the policy sits there waiting to be followed, and we pretend to believe in it. We pretend to respect it. Pretending to like it would be too hard to swallow. Still, every day is a gift, and we have to go up to the policy and bow down to it. We take time to go over the policy, make sure everyone understands, even if they don't memorize it, though some do, especially the part about stability being the source of the gift. We learn it word for word. One could recite it backwards standing on her head. Another one could write it in two different languages though he couldn't pronounce a single word of it. Someday we'll build a new wall to display the policy more prominently. Maybe hang it from a lanyard. Maybe we'll put a whistle near it and assign a different person every day to blow it every time someone approaches the policy without seeming to notice. <laughs> Thanks.